Hello and welcome back to Hans Reset Info. In this video, I will show you how to install Google based applications on Huawei Pura 8 Ultra. Let's begin! So, since the ban in, I believe, 2019, you cannot go officially into the Huawei uh, App Store or whatever its app gallery named. And for example, I don't think you can type in, for example, YouTube or Google or whatever. Uh, because then you will go and you will have to basically like pirate it seriously if we go into our YouTube uh, oh, oh It disappeared cool. Well, actually this one is installed already because I have installed it previously uh, But you can't really officially download like a Play Store or something and if we would want we would like to we would have to go into our browser and then just manually download a APK uh, versions of every single application we need and Actually, we didn't really have to. Instead, let's just go into the, our app gallery and let's go and type in Gbox and simply go into Gbox and we can press install Gbox. Now, there is a very high chance that you actually won't really have it in your app gallery and what you want to do then. Well, that's a really good question. And in that case, you just want to head into your browser and then all you want to do is just go into your uh, you can type in Gbox, download APK. And I believe that for the, for the first time you should see the app Pure uh, site. I think this one is kind of legit, like it doesn't really have that many ads. It's really acceptable amount of ads. And once again, you only have to do this if you don't see the Gbox in your... Uh, app gallery, but if you do have it, then everything is literally okay and you shouldn't really worry. Anyway, without uh, further ado, we can now open our application and now we can agree to user agreement privacy, uh, privacy. And as you can see, we already have the Play Store installed, but before we actually go in there, we first need to do a couple of things. First, you want to go and click that little green bar that's going to appear. And as you can see, they need some permissions, so I'm just going to go into Enable, Allow, and by default you should have the battery optimization whitelist also enabled for this application. If you don't, you can just hit Enable and then give it uh, wanted permissions. Now we can go into these three dots here, and we can go into Not Logged. And of course we, are, we want to log in not using our Huawei ID, but using uh, the Google um, a Google account, but we don't really have to do it, though we will, because as you can see, our Play Store doesn't really have anything. And now, the Gbox is kind of emulating a Google-based application, like Google-based software, and then we can just proceed to log in with our normal credentials. And I'm just going to do just that, as you can see, I have something already here. And in any moment now, I should be able to input my password, at least hopefully. And yeah, now we just want to log in into your Google account. Like this, if the password is correct, of course. Aye, mine is not. So let me simply try again. Anyway, now everything should be working correctly. And after we successfully log into our Google account, we probably want to go into I will be using this device. And I agree with Terms of Service. And as I can see now, our device is contacting Google to, well, basically give away, give away some information about our account. And with that out of the way, we now successfully have a version of Play Store. Kind of. Actually, it's sort of an imposter, because if we do this, we can see that technically this is a Google Play Store, but it still has the icon of the Gbox. And this is because Gbox is essentially role-playing as our Play Store. So as you can see, we don't really have the Play Store uh, right here. Though, if I remember correctly, we can go here and just go into Create Shortcut. And as you can see, technically, we do have our Google Play shortcut on our Huawei device, which usually is not possible to achieve. But yet still, it will open the Gbox version. And inside here, we can just install whatever we want. For example, I will go and install ourselves uh, maybe a Gmail. Uh, since this is also very important and very useful Google-based application that by default isn't available on Huawei. And using our Gbox and just notice that we can do that normally like we I like as we would on any normal device. 
uh, we don't really have to play around and I don't know cosplaying as pirates and trying to uh, hack away uh, into having Gmail. We just want to install one application, and as you can see, we also have Gmail here, and it also behaves just like normal Gmail. O only like warning I want to give you is the fact is that you might have delayed notifications because. Technically, it's not exactly Gmail, it's just Gbox that's trying to be Gmail, so yeah. But generally, we now have, with that simple one application, all Google-based applications we could ever ask for. And as you can see, we even have some recommended applications that I believe aren't really available normally to download via the uh, app gallery that we have on our Huawei. And yeah, that's all for this video. Make sure to leave a comment if this tutorial helped you or if you have other applications and other tips and tricks on how you can use Google-based applications on your Huawei device. Anyway, with that out of the way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.